Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't met me and you don't know what this channel is, I'm a subscriptions reviewer. I review subscription boxes that I try every month for you guys and for myself. This is my expensive hobby that I do. I do have a job and work, but I love to get on YouTube and share my experiences with the subscription boxes. So today I'm going to do the macro dieting subscription box for $14.95 and um, it was just kind of a last minute purchase. I had a, some issues with some of the boxes last month uh, and I wasn't sure when they were coming. Some of them were delayed. Um, actually two, I think it was two, one of them I had to cancel because they ended up back ordering. Um, after I had already ordered it, it went on back order. I don't know what happened with that, but anyway. I ordered some extras, so these are actually from the previous month, but I haven't gotten around to starting October, so every month the way I do this is I order the boxes ahead of time. Usually I try to do a month ahead of time, and this month I am in the middle of moving and a bunch of other stuff going on, so I haven't had time to order Octobers yet, so we're just going to keep doing what I had what I have, what's already come in the mail, and then hopefully I will start ordering some more. Uh, I am still considering taking this channel in a different direction, uh, possibly after I move, trying some different things with this channel, so I may be cutting back on the subscriptions a little bit. Uh, if you guys have an opinion on that, or, or for that, against it, what kind of content you would like me to to what you would like to see from me then feel free to comment or dm me and let me know so anyway this is macro dieting subscription and it's actually heavy it came in a really big box and um let's see what we have actually it really uh came shipped really quickly the main point for me to order it was it shipped really quickly and the price point was great so this is a disclaimer. Do we ever follow disclaimers? Helpful. All right, so I guess we'll start with the energy drinks. Okay, so they're all the same thing, three of the same. Blueberry lemonade amino energy drinks. It's got electrolytes, five grams of aminos, 100 milligrams of caffeine from natural sources. And it's made by ON Optimum Nutrition. And it's just sparkling hydration drink. Now, if any of you know me personally, which I know quite a few of my viewers are friends of mine, then you know that I actually uh, had a run in with Red Bull a couple of years ago. And I say a couple of years ago, this is maybe four years, four, five years ago, somewhere in there. Uh, to where I was drinking like four or five Red Bulls a day, waitressing at work and at my previous location, not where I am now. And I made myself sick, so sick on Red Bull that I got kidney stones. I couldn't understand why I was always in pain in my flank and why every, it was always hurting in my side. Turns out I gave myself kidney stones doing Red Bull constantly. So anyway, the point of the story is my body does not react very well to energy drinks, specifically taurine and Red Bull and also the sugar and that is really high. But every now and then I will try a more natural or organic or, you know, sh uh, sugar free version of energy drinks just because I like caffeine. I like I like to be awake. You know, I'm a night person, and if I have to be functioning before 9 a.m., then I feel like I need either energy drinks or coffee. So yes, I'm excited to try that. Hopefully, it doesn't make me sick. Okay, the next thing I see is energy gum, Ren gum, mint, sugar-free, zero calories, caffeine, taurine. B vitamins. Ooh, that sounds dangerous. When some of the first ingredients are terrine, I get scared. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm just afraid to get kidney stones again. So this one I may steer completely clear of because I'm pretty scared of terrine now as an active ingredient for my kidney's sake. 
there's three of the, the same each, so I'm trying to show you the Quest Cookies and Cream protein bar. And I'm, I have to say I'm disappointed. Uh, it's 21 grams of protein, by the way, but I'm disappointed because I've bought Quest bars before. I think it was birthday cake or another flavor. It was so awful. If I remember right, it was Quest. It was so awful. Me and my best friend at work, we're, we'll share snacks sometimes. <laughs> and I, we were trying to half it amongst ourselves. No, we, we threw it straight in the garbage. So if this is the same, if this is Quest, if, if that is the same uh, company, if this is the same brand as I remember trying before and hating, then I'm going to be really sad because half of these are, are by Quest. <laughs> okay, so the other half are all the same as well. And they're by Power, Power Crunch Pro Protein Bar, 20 grams of protein, uh, French vanilla cream flavored. There's three of these, okay. So hopefully these will be better than Quest. Cause I'm a little sad right now um, that so many of the protein bars I sent were Quest brand because if, if, if it is the same as last time, maybe trying a different flavor will be better, but it was so chalky. I don't know any of my fitness people watching this know that the big a lot of the big problems with protein and protein bars and protein supplement uh, cookies different things like that is sometimes they can be chalky if not done right they can be chalky so I'm worried about that but okay so for $14.95 I've got six protein bars and three of this same kind of energy drink Okay. and a pack of death gum that has terrine in it <laughs> it's going to kill my kidneys so this one's like oh straight in the garbage <laughs> or just give it to someone that likes red bull so yeah for so six so ten items for 14.95 it's not bad at all these these items you could find at your local grocery store probably and for around the same price if not a little more for the 10 items. So I think it, the, the price is definitely there. I think I did pick well as far as picking value. Uh, presentation, I mean, it's in a plain cardboard box with their, it does have their logo taped on tape around the box, which is nice. Eventually, I would love to be a subscription creator. That's another thing I was going to share that eventually I would like to be a subscription creator. And if so, I would love to share those boxes here on my channel with you guys but for now I am just a reviewer and my review is positive I, I think that um I, it's it, for me it was a borderline a little boring the presentation but it they had the value there they had the items in there everything was there I don't like the quest bars so I'm a little disappointed in that but for the price the value was there and you already know what I'm about to say if you would like to follow me or subscribe, you can at AmberBubble77 on this YouTube channel that I am trying so hard to make it with. <laughs> and hopefully one day, uh, my dream is to leave my, my jobs completely and just do YouTube. But if not, this will forever be my expensive hobby because I'm addicted to subscription reviews. <laughs> So anyway, I will see you all very soon with a new video and I look forward to the fall season we're going into. I will hopefully try to find some fall themed boxes if I can. I will let you know and I will see you all soon. Bye. Love and light.